The end of the year holidays are traditionally a time of joy and celebration, but they're also a time when many people find themselves overwhelmed by feelings of loneliness and isolation. On the evening of November 15, 1990, 911 dispatcher Deanna Wells was tragically reminded just how difficult this time of year can be. 911. I need uh, Kalama PD, please. Do you have an emergency, sir? Yeah, this is uh, emergency mental health. Okay, what's the problem there? Um, I have a report from um, a Randy Hurst at Recovery Northwest that he, one of his clients is um, at the house with the 22, and she's very suicidal, so. It's a female? Yeah. I've taken like a suicide prevention class, but this was different. They had a loaded weapon in their hand. What is the girl's name? Um, Melissa. Melissa? Right. 5.51 p.m. The Cowlitz Sheriff's Department is notified of the situation by a dispatcher listening in on the call. Suicide with a 22 caliber pistol. One shot's been accidentally fired already. One shot. A suicide and one shot's been accidentally fired. Yep. Is the guy dead? No. First thought is, is, well, welcome to night shift. Here we go. Two deputies and a sergeant were immediately dispatched to the house where the woman lived 18 miles away. Kalama and medics ambulances were also sent to the scene. <laughs> Worried that help would arrive too late, dispatcher Deanna Wells placed a call to the woman who was threatening to kill herself. said that she had two kids and I know how I feel about my kids and I thought if I could make her think about her children maybe she wouldn't go through with that this is a scary situation knowing that that, that she had children and that she had fired the weapon already the the thoughts that raced through my mind was well was that shot directed at her child or one of her children and then in an attempt if she's going to take her own life later is your husband there Guys. Are you guys having a problem? No. You what? I'm crazy. Okay. And why do you think that? <laughs> because I am an addict. I am an alcoholic. Uh huh. Codependent. Whatever else you want to name. I mean, I'm sure I could make it. I think that's Melissa, what do you do for that? Right here. I blew up my husband's flint away. You blew what? My husband's flint. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize this gun was that powerful. So you shot your husband's plant up? Yeah, I thought it was on safety. Uh-huh. You know, the way it's cocked and, and, and he told me it was on safety. Well, all you do is pull that trigger and it'll blow anything away. Now she knew what it felt like to fire the gun. She knew what it was going to sound like. Maybe that was the, the scary part for her, was to pull the trigger. Now she knew what it felt like. You want to know if I've been drinking? Yeah. Yeah, I've had one or two. One or two drinks? Yeah. Sitting here at home. Melissa? What? Why don't you make a contract with me? What's that? It just means that you won't hurt yourself for 24 hours. That's it. No. Well, after... Wrong. Melissa, hey, look, I know... Lady. I... I, I know. Put you down. Honestly, I don't. I know. Uh, too, you deal with a lot of, and I give you credit for that. But well, lady, you don't live with what I got to live with. I realize that. Okay. You don't. You do not deal with what I got to deal with every day. And I'm not a very strong person. 
Deputy Ron West and his partner were the first on the scene. We have a lot to think about when we approach a, a dark house, especially when I, we know that a weapon's already been fired. We didn't know if she had actually had, uh, shot herself, had taken her life at this point. Melissa, how old are your kids? I have one that's 13 months old and one that's 6 years old. One 13 months old and one 6 years old? Yeah. Both girls? Yes. Do they know that, that you've been having trouble at all? No. Where are your daughters at now? They're at the with my neighbors. You don't have them there with you? No. Do you think you brought your brain to the front of your kids? Would you? you? No way. But okay. do you know what... Well, how... I'm not that stupid. I may be a little crazy, but I'm not that stupid. Do you know how devastating that that would be on your children? Oh, yeah. I can imagine. You know, they've all tried to play this on me. But don't you think it would be? No. What if they grow up blaming themselves? Oh, I'll leave a note. Do I have to leave a note? That, what good would that do? It wouldn't make any difference to them. I'll let they them know it wasn't their fault. They would still blame themselves. That no. Maybe. It's not their fault. But they may you grow up thinking that. that. This for me, it's happened in my past, things that I cannot deal with. I'm crazy. Manic depressant is crazy. You know what? But manic depressant is treatable. Oh. It is treatable. You know, that's what I thought to begin with. I think there was a time where she didn't want to hear any reasoning because she had already thought through and made a plan and came up with her solution, and that was what she was going to do. I, I just want to help you. You yeah, know, right. Listen. I'm a stranger you've never met before. That's fine. Do you care about me? Yes, I do. That's, okay. why I, that's why I do this job. Are you there? When we continue. At that point, I really felt that she was going to shoot herself. It's caught. Listen to me. And it's ready, sweetheart. Okay. And him. Don't do it. Don't. 